we, are we live? Are we are we live? Brandy. What? Hi. Hi. How are you? Mm -hmm. Welcome in everybody. Happy Wolf Day. Wolf Day, according to Dawson. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. It is Party of Two Tuesday with Brandy and Dave, where Brandy got asked to make chocolate milk for Wolf Day Boy. My hat's not on the whole way. I should probably. And. That's my brown derby. We're talking brown derby. If you watched that, if you looked at that thing called the thumbnail, we're uh, no, we we're heading to the brown derby tonight. But I before we get there, one of our favorites, 100%, love it more than anything. We enjoy it every single time, brown derby lounge, and we'll talk about that. But real quick, first big shout out to our good friend over at The Live Place. Dean, it is movie week. Make sure you're checking that out. So... Here we are in the Hollywood Brown Derby to talk about it. My hair is a hot mess, guys. Number one, you interrupt everything. <laughs> that's what I do. Sorry, I just looked. I saw the back. I was like, "Oh, that's a mess back there." Sorry. <laughs> this is real afternoon, evening in our kitchen, guys. I mean, this is. We are inviting them into our home. We got to show them what really happens. This is just how our life is. And oh, now Winston's taking a drink. And now Winston's <laughs> taking a drink. Hi, everyone. So, yeah. Sorry. So, at any rate, happy Tuesday. <laughs> We're going to the Hollywood Brown Derby. Real quick, besides Dean, make sure you check out all my brothers at Dis and That. Dis and That, 9 o'clock. Wednesday evenings, Eastern Standard Time. Zip who follows this show, 7 p.m. with Tuesdays with Zip, then, uh, you know, that, that Steve dude, he's Mondays, 8 p.m., and Shep, Saturdays at 9-ish, daily vlogger extraordinaire. Go check it out. He's been doing it forever, or a month, but for him It feels forever. like forever and whenever it, you're doing a daily vlog. It sure does. Vlog it's longer than Vlogmas, that's for sure. 11 of you in here, welcome in. hope you're all well. So we are heading over to the Hollywood Brown Derby. On this lovely Tuesday afternoon, we're going to make the uh, the signature dish, I would say. We're going to make their Cobb salad, which is one of Brandy's favorites. Yes, that's, I get it. I'm every, all right. I'm all right with it. Time. And, now, uh, the first time I had it, I didn't like it. Do you remember that? You did. I was you like, did. You know I why? Like all this choppiness. It's all chop, choppy, choppiness. Yeah. I spent the last 20 minutes choppy, chop, chopping everything up. Lettuce was flying everywhere. It was. Water it was, like, press was all over the place. Yes. We should have filmed that. We should have. That would be great. Like, I should have waited, that. but I didn't know how long it was going to take to do yeah, that. And, and, and I have to. You got time crunches and, and all yeah. that fun stuff. So the Cobb salad at Hollywood Brown, Brown, Brown Derby. <laughs> if you've had a Cobb salad, usually they're, they're uh, sometimes chopped, sometimes not, but it's always like your, uh, your club type stuff on top of yeah. it, right? So eggs, bacon, chicken or turkey. Um, Avocado sometimes, tomatoes for sure, and then uh, then some chives or whatever on top. So we're going with the official recipe from Disney Food Blog. If you want to check it out, so I I'm under the assumption that this comes from the back of house. So what we did before we came on camera here is we uh, we took equal parts. I was gonna say, I was gonna say a cup because that's what the recipe calls for. A cup each of iceberg lettuce finely chopped of chicory, chicory, also endive if you really want to, chicory. finely chopped, and last but not least, watercress finely chopped, right? So, which I don't know. Brandy doesn't know how to measure a cup out, even though she teaches how to well, measure I things. I do, but I just really love salad, yeah. and I know you're going to have a lot, and Gigi's going to have a lot, yeah. and so am I. Yeah. So, so I just, why not salad for everyone? So we, we, we took those three lovely, lovely, Cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous. I don't know if that's true. I just wanted to sound like oh. Sheldon for a second. Cruciferous. But we made this lovely salad base of finely chopped lettuce and such. Yes. Now, where are we plating this? We're plating this in, in your. Oh yeah, thing? we'll do it in this like okay. big bowl here. One of the. Ooh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one. 
one big bowl to the next. I could I could get the big salad bowl no, if you fine. want, this but I good. think that should be so we, so we got, sufficient. So we got that. And really one of the signature things is the dressing that goes on this, which is a French dressing, but not the weird orange Catalina French dressing. But that's not weird. That's what we like. We, we like that kind of dressing. We do. I love it all the time. But it's a different type of French dressing. Like for real. For real. Hello, everyone. You want to say hi to the chat? I'll grab. Oh, Dave. Okay. Okay. You want me to say hi to the chat? Okay. So where do I go? Up to the up to, up the, top. to the top. Up to the top. Up so to the top. hello, Andrew. Bidding you were first, right? Rock and Robin, producer Preston, G. Wilson, Captain Akron, Samantha Lowe. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy you're here. Leanne Sherbick. Hey, girl. Sherbick. Paul Johns is here. Strive to do better. And why? Tell you what's up, bro. Or my? Is it my? Or my? My. 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 Zero hacks allowed. What up, Dana? Yeah, no <laughs> squad. Um, Max K. Hello. And what in the world with Russ? Oh my goodness, I love this. I'm holding up my plate. You can. <laughs> what up, Russ? We'll like send you some food virtually. So. Oh, oh Winston's barking outside. So, so happy you're all here. Marguerite Nagy, hi. Marguerite, what's up? Andrew Bidding said that looks money. It does look hashtag I'm money. I'm excited. And you know, Dave was chopping all this stuff up, and he was chopping up or endives or chicory. And I Chick love chicory, that. Chick I love chicory. the bitterness of it. And my family, we have a recipe that we do called hot endive. Or I'm doubling it, this, by the way. We call it endive. But what it is is you make a bacon dressing and cook it and then you put it over the oh, endive or dandelion you can use dandelion and put it with some mashed potatoes it is so good winston's going crazy okay so all right so i we're, might try to entice winston yeah. back with some pepperoni we're gonna it sounds like he's not being a friendly neighbor okay yep all right so we're gonna do winston the uh, the vinegar portion of the uh, the vinaigrette that we're going to make currently. So we're doubling the recipe, but I'll tell you what it is. It is two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, which I neglected to purchase at the store. So we're using apple cider. Then we're gonna go with uh, some uh, some lemon juice. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Out of here. Okay. No. He was very ferocious out there. Was he? Don't mess with his fence. He doesn't like that. That's true. Randy will yell at me. Looks like it. he's been working on this. Yeah, don't cut on the counter. That is very bad. Um, but any have any of you had like the hot dandelion or hot endive before with like the bacon and special dressing you make like almost like a gravy all right so we're gonna put half weird. of a half of a lemon in here Ooh, that smells so good it does so half of a lemon half of a looks lemon. like dave's been working on his salad i have kind of i like your shirt dave with Thank your you. little martini glasses it's on just there. because you want a martini there's nothing to do uh, with my shirt well the brown derby well derby derby the brown derby has really good martinis. They're not as good as yours, though, Dave. Mm -hmm. um, but so you're making a yummy dressing. And oh, is that your recipe? Yeah, it is. All right. Nice. Half teaspoon of Worcestershire. Make here. Hi there. So that would be a full. Jonathan Chong, Jill DeFour. A full teaspoon of Worcestershire. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Andrew Bidding, so you've had this, right? And you love it, I hope. Dave, Dave, the first time he ever had that was like What's that? at my house. The endive or the yeah. dandelion. You are not a fan, but he said he'll try it again. So I'm going to make it. I don't know when. Thin, not for you. So I'm half teaspoon like Worcestershire, Shire, half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And, uh, I need a quarter teaspoon of sugar, babe. Can you get me sugar? Or not. I mean, that's cool. What'd you say? Can you get me sugar? I thought you were just calling me sugar. I know. Here, I need half a teaspoon of sugar. Is that what? Total this. No, this is not. Sugar. 
Sugar, sugar, sugar. Honey, honey. Come on. All right. Okay. So we're the half teaspoon salt. All um, so I need stuff. I need a couple. Can you grab a couple things of garlic? Sure. Press those. A couple cloves of garlic. Yeah. So also mm. in the lettuce is watercress, and you know I never had watercress by itself before, and I was surprised of the peppery and like almost radishy flavor For it sure. had. Make a blue I, welcome in. I didn't expect that. Can I cook? Hi, no. can I cook? What's up, Karen? No, Dawson, you can't. No, honey. Okay, so mm -hmm. two garlic cloves. So quarter, quarter teaspoon of dry mustard. Yeah, two garlic cloves. We gotta press those in here. Wasn't there a story about? Oh, wow. Was it Patty or my dad? I think it was Patty. That she didn't know that garlic cloves were garlic cloves, and she added cl actual cloves. To yeah. the recipe. Yeah, I, think I can't remember what the recipe was though. Was it like meatballs or something? Um, yeah, I think it was, and because your dad always said they were just awful. <laughs> so garlic cloves. I okay. I love garlic cloves. You know what I love Jimmy, too. That. Oh, am I allowed to crush and get the skin off of them? Yeah. Because that's, that's so fun. Then put it into so put it on your cutting board and then put your knife there and just crush it. Smashy smash. So time. fun. Yeah. I love doing that. Right, did you and put both oils peel. in here? No, I only put I only put the vegetable oil in there. I have a third of a cup of vegetable oil. And what do we need? We need what we need. We need we're gonna need double that. Olive oil. We're gonna need double the double of the vegetable oil. Yeah. Okay. We'll double everything because I'm doubling the recipe. Okay. So all right. Here's your so here we go. Two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons Ooh, of red wine. Gonna, no vampires. Ta ta tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. We're sure, 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 sure. Half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon minced garlic, which Brandy's doing, quarter teaspoon sugar, eighth teaspoon freshly ground black pepper or to taste, eighth teaspoon dry mustard, uh, and then third cup olive oil, vegetable olive oil. And wait, then, wait, 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 wait. Vegetable olive oil or olive oil? I said vegetable oil. You said vegetable olive oil. I'm getting there. Okay. You made me nervous. Third cup vegetable oil and then two tablespoons of olive oil. So I so need really, four tablespoons okay. of olive oil. I can do that while you do whatever you need. Okay. All right. I can handle measuring stuff. So you put the garlic in here? No. No, you got to crush I'll it. Press my garlic. I like to chop it up. I like to chop it instead of press it. But I don't, you do I like to press it. whatever. It makes it stringy when you do it that way. It's what's stringy? The garlic. It doesn't have like the nice fine texture that I think. Yeah, well, too bad. See, it's all clumpy and weird. Yeah, but whenever you're going to mix the crap out of it, here in a second. Well, are you are you taking the garlic out, or does it stay on it? It stays in it. Does it just infuse in it? I don't. Brandy, it says put in minced garlic. It oh. doesn't say infuse minced garlic. I like this. Corey's here. Hi, Corey. Corey. I want to see that perfect dicing technique. You should have seen him going crazy. I have with. What's he singing? I don't know what he's singing. That's some Dawson's. chunky. That's some chunky garlic. Can't tell him to stop. It's too cute. But what I do when I mince my garlic, um. He cuts it with a knife. I, well, yeah, obviously, but then I put a little bit of kosher salt and I take my knife blade and I like kind of slide it across and it breaks down the cells and then that way you can chop it up even more and then it goes and blends into your food a lot better so you don't have those big chunks of garlic. Then I'm pulling or, it out of this right now yep. so that you can dice up. Okay. Are, are you saying I was right? No. Are you sure? 100%. <laughs> Not at all. Okay. Okay. Cool. You, what's this one? Is that just extra? What? That's too much. Yeah, that's fine. You can put it in if you want. Okay. You know, I always think garlic is always a little over the top in recipes, especially whenever you're saying yeah, X amount, whatever. Garlic is should be measured in cloves. Well, opinion. the cloves are different sizes. I understand that. So that doesn't mean that I'm wrong though. It's Joey's World. Welcome in. Hello. Okay, Atwood. What's up, Corey? What's going on, my guy? Last time we were at Brown yeah, Derby, Corey was we with were there. Us. 
twice in a day, and Corey was with us. Uh, There's a vlog on his channel. Corey has and a ours. Vlog. And remember, um, what was his name? Gr granite. Stone granite. I was going to say. Yeah, uh, that was Stone almost going to be the. Um, Stone granite. The thumbnail. It was almost going to be the thumbnail, but yeah. I used it for the uh, original vlog from that day, so I didn't want to use it again. Uh, all right. I just love that restaurant so much, and I love the lounge most of all because you can sit outside mm -hmm. and well, obviously because it, well, no, it's, it's outside. Yeah. Because the whole thing's outside. <laughs> But you can like people watch if you want. There's like a nice out. breeze. And Food's good. You can order off the main menu. The characters come by. Which Scott cool. Stratman wants to know, Scott, what's up, man? What beer I would pair with this? Okay. Ooh. So um, at Brown Derby, a high lie would go pretty nicely. Um, See, but this is but beautiful. more so, get a Manhattan. Maybe not the perfect one because then you get it in the martini glass and it's a little too much. See, but see it's good. a nice, perfect mint, just okay. like that. Do you need any more lemon, love? Uh, if you want to put more lemon in, I'm just asking need, you. I think okay. Well, can I get rid of the cutting board? Is yeah, what you I get was rid really of the cutting asking. board. I was just trying to get. All right, so now it is time to emulsify. Brandy, can you explain what emulsifying is? That is bringing together ingredients Oops. so they stay together i guess it's bringing it together but usually it is an oil and another liquid two liquids but it also that would normally not mix together. and well, then you whisk the crap out of them until i do not like this oh because i used the other one yeah where is it okay give me a wash no i don't want it that's no, fine i just this the handle's too big it is kind of. It was. A well, you, I, I always hold. So I always hold me. my whisk like a pencil, right? And then you, you get this going right now. No, you I don't. Fork it. I could fork it. <laughs> you could fork that dressing. Fork it right in the D. <laughs> dressing. In the dressing. Um. So I use the whisk. I made pancakes earlier for um a video for school for my students. So that's what happened, or other whisk. And that was just, just before Dave got home. All right. So just dipped your finger in there. I did. You want a spoon? Is that? No. What do you need? More? I think it needs more salt. That's just me. You put a lot of salt in stuff. He's a little salty. A pepper. And we're going to brighten it up a touch. Do you want the... Do you want the zester? Put a little bit of. Um, let's go. Let's go. He said, let's go. Oh my gosh, Corner Sports is in here. Hello. Use your, use your spoon. I think that's better. 32 of you watching. Welcome in. 35. Welcome in. What's going on, everyone? Glad you're here for. So, who loves Brown Derby? Like. All right, who's been to Brown Derby? You have been there and love it. What's it need? It needs some lemon zest. I think it needs a touch more vinegar. Okay. And this is why you don't measure stuff out, kids. Is that a touch more? No. Did you not measure stuff? Is that I measured happened? everything. That's the issue. Every time I measure. You're going to get, if you get that oil in my dress, it's going to make grease spot. And I will not be happy. Stop. Welcome to the real life of Brandy and Dave. He gets mad. <laughs> All right, so we have some lemon zest in there. You added a little bit more vinegar. Yeah, um, I think you were right with the salt, though, too. Put some more salt? Yeah, I would put just a little bit more in there. Let's try. Um, a little more witcher, sure, sure, sure. You know, that probably wouldn't hurt, but let's just blend this just a little bit more. And you know what we could have done? We could have used, like, our blender and actually, like, super emulsified it. Just a splash. Dana, yeah, not gonna lie, this makes good background sound. <laughs> That's Shep, why we appreciate up, you having guy. us on. Hi, Shep. Come on, come on. Go ahead. What, what splash. Whoop, that's good. I'm so, 
Karen absolutely loves it. She was there in August and she's a huge fan ever since. Corey in your vlog. Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Karen. All we right. had so much fun. And I met my friend so, Carly there. She joined us too. Here's all of our fun. Let's Look at that beautiful chopped up goodness Good over there. Look at all the choppiness of chop chops. Well, that's so much better. Is it? Yep. And you know, I love vinegar. Native. So I, it's like coming through. Um, <laughs> bless you. That was a powerful sneeze. I have to head out in three minutes, Lovey. Okay. I know. All right. So here's how you finish this sucker off. Ooh, look at these beautiful tomatoes. Tomato. And you want everything to line up so it looks all pretty for presentation. You want me to hold it up? Oh, yeah. so, okay. I don't know if you wanted to like... Some bacon, about seven strips. A couple hard boiled eggs here that are finely diced. Everything's finely diced here because we want everything so you don't have to be that guy that's trying to do this with your lettuce. Oh my gosh. You know, I, I really don't like that. And then some avocado. I do it all the time. I always say I look like, I feel like a turtle. You know, turtles like eat lettuce. They're like. And then last but not least. Hi, Zippity Doo Dad. Zippity Doo Dad. Zippity and Surf Bum. Hi, Meg's here too. What up, Meg? Magic. What's up? And then lastly. Oh, so many of you are here. Thank you so much. We, we love sharing our afternoon with you with just the normal afternoon in our kitchen. Um, which, Some oh, Dave, this looks so good. Some blue cheese crumbles. All right. Blue cheese. So we got that. We got the dressing. We can do the dressing on the side, is the way to do it. But. Look this is it's so pretty. the finished product. It's so, so pretty. So for presentation Daddy. purposes. Oh, wait. You know what you forgot? What's that? What's that? Oh. The meat. Yeah, I forgot. Go meat. Oh, man. Run, I ran Make out of areas. Room, Dave. Oh, yeah. So the last thing, which I don't know why you're opening from that side. Oh, I don't know. I never do things the right way. I always so, do it like so you're the wrong so way. So if you get the one at Round Derby, you get... Um, a dirty martini. You get no dirty martini, but you get the. Uh, <laughs> no, you get you get turkey. No, okay. No, Poached turkey. Well, I couldn't find any turkey, and I wasn't getting deli turkey. Well, I could have roasted a whole turkey. Day. You could have, I know, but and put a bow in my hair. I didn't even like do my hair. Yeah. My friends, I'm yeah, sorry. Just okay. here, let's see. Oh. What's up? Well, make it blue. We like we like this kind, but thank you. So you're supposed to put a pound of turkey. And this is a lot. Winston, yeah, you saw Winston. He's like all about it. He's hungry, right? But this is rotisserie chicken that you can get at the store. You know, normally yeah. Costco or whatever, like ten bucks. We're just gonna rip it up a little bit. So happy you're all here. Look at this. It's probably so enough. Huh? Thank you guys. Hey. Winston. No Winston. <laughs> Winston's all about this, all of the good stuff in here. So I'm going to slide this over. Babe, if you don't mind, I'm going to run real quick and do what I need okay. to do. Excuse me. At I'm to wash my hands. Do you want some of this to try with that for whatever? Do you want to take a picture of that? want to take a picture of that? Oh, yeah. I need some pictures. So we're going to picture of that. Then we'll do the tossing. That's so pretty. Good job, babe. You're so good at all of this stuff. I'm, I'm okay. I'm so proud of you. I do want to try it, but you know what? I'll only be gone for 10 minutes because I get to go pick Gigi up. What are you looking for? I was looking for the... Oh, the Our possibly. utensil drawer is giant. It has, like, there's so much. It's like, I feel like it's like Mary Poppins' bag. Like, you just keep reaching, and there's more stuff that you're getting out of it. The stuff that we had. We had. <laughs> Hey, uh, a thermometer. Maybe we should use this. <gasps> There's my yellow thermometer. Oh, like chopsticks that we purchased at Disney. That was organized. Was it? Yeah. Not anymore. Okay. So, so you we can't find the other one. Okay, I I have to go. Go. Let one. me take your little happy picture. Guys, I will be back. Here, Daisy. 
afraid. I don't right, want to throw this right all over the place. All right. Unless, are you going to, you're not logging off before I get back, right? No. You? Okay. Good. Watch out for Winston. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. I have to go pick up Gigi. Oh, man. Randy, I think I needed more toppings. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. I'm sorry. Maybe I don't need more toppings. All righty. Here we go. Cool. All right. So the cool thing about this is you can do the salad all as one big thing. And then, if you're not a big fan of the uh, the house dressing that they make, you can always just put on what you want, whether it's a blue cheese or ranch or, or like a traditional, like what everyone knows now is French. Um, but... The absolute love with this salad for me, like I said, is that you don't have to try to ah, ah, ah whatever, right? Try to, uh, well, that's garlic. That would have been real bad. That was a piece of chicken. I was going to throw it in my mouth. That would have been bad. All right. But like I said, I love the fact you don't have to attempt to shove big pieces of lettuce in your mouth and everything's chopped up nice and fine. That's what it looks like all mixed up i am dana i am concentrating and it's like it's like playing cod dude you just gotta concentrate so we're gonna put a little bit of dressing on this sucker the house stuff here nice vinaigrette nice and fresh i always say and this is just any salad anything you're making salad wise you can brighten up by making a quick vinaigrette with whatever you got at your house. All you need is sugar, olive oil recommended. You can do vegetable, but olive oil recommended, some semblance of vinegar, and then a little bit of lemon. And you can make yourself a fresh vinaigrette to go on any salad. My grandma used to make one that was just basic, basic, basic. But super good. That was uh, interesting. All right. There we go. But it's a good mix. Got the bacon in there all nice and crumbly. What really makes it is that it's not just standard iceberg lettuce, which when Brandy and I started looking into this, you thought it was. You thought it was just, you know, chopped up romaine or whatever, right? It's not. That endive really comes through, super bitter. And then you got the, uh, the watercress, which is just like cr crazy peppery. Chef wants to know if we can have a lobster roll still. Obviously, the lobster rolls are really good, man. Really good. Zip says this is Nicole's favorite, for sure. Thanks, Karen. This is fun, man. But let me see. What's up? Yep. Meg, what's up? Going through. But so who's had the Cobb salad? I know a couple of you said you had Nicole's favorite. It says zip. Get this out of here. I'm just gonna eat my dinner. This is like honestly better than I expected it to be. More flavorful for sure. Like I said, the different choices in greens really pops. And, and even though it's peppery, there's a there's there's a it's a distinct garlic flavor. We probably should have cut the garlic down a little bit. I would do that for the uh, for the vinaigrette. If you're a big garlic fan, go with more, but I'd cut it back. I like just enough garlic. For sure. Tim Pro, what up? Tim's had it. Mm. 
Yup. Shep family, super good. Spit something out. I'm dead. Yeah. No, it was I. It's a chicken bone from the rotisserie chicken. That's what I had to spit out. I'm sorry. But that's hilarious. It is hilarious. It is, man. This is good. Karen loves it. And why is that at Rockin' Robin? Dave, what's that furry thing moving around in that bowl? Are you referring to Winston? Yes. Shep says it was a worm. Could be. So, we're a fan. I know we've talked about this a bunch. Crown Derby is one of those spots that we like to go to, especially the lounge, because you can order off the massive menu. You can get the lounge-specific menu. But on top of that, it's outside. Even when it's hot out, you got fans blowing and whatever. you got shade. We can just chill, people watch, have a cocktail, order some food, and just relax in the afternoon. It's a great spot in the evening, but a lot of people go there later in the day. So be warned when it comes to that. Gary B, my guy, welcome in, man. We're uh, whew, I'm going through this. 43, you're here. Yes. Hope you're all well. Hmm. No, yep. All you got to do, all you got to do to make it vegetarian friendly, obviously take out the eggs, take out the, uh, the bacon and the chicken, all of my favorite parts. But you can do it pretty easily. Man, this is this is good. Brandy always orders it and then says you can have some and then eats it all. I usually don't get any more than a bite, but because I will for sure ten days till the family comes down for the annual trip. It's awesome. Joey's best bud wants to know what are your ginger beer brands. All right, Joey. There's a couple. First things first. I'm dropping it down. First things first. Right there. Gosling's is really solid. Gosling's ginger beer or diet. Comes in a can, comes in a bottle, whatever. But um, really, really heavy ginger flavor. But not over the top. There's a nice sweetness on the back end. Always get it. It's one of my favorite. Recently, though... Um, cock and bull comes in a bottle. Usually I haven't seen it in anything else. Super good. I don't think it has as much of a ginger bite as Gosling's does, but it's super, super good. I said that like six times already tonight. Danny, you got to go. Um, thirdly, and I know Corey's a big fan of it. Um, fever tree, which is what they serve at Disney. Fever Tree Ginger Beer. Good stuff. Yeah, Andrew. I love love the Brown Derby. Love the restaurant the Brown Derby. A little pricey to go inside. But the lounge, in my estimation, is always the way to go. Always. Dawson is playing... Fortnite with Abe, I believe, currently. I'm making a mess. And I'm eating salad. What? Yeah. Yes. All right. Got that. I'm good there. I'll finish this up. So, what's coming up next? Well, Baby Jack is almost here, so if you want to learn about that, Zip is on at 7 p.m. tonight. Make sure you check that out. Brandy's not here to inform me whether or not Lake Buena Visitors is on later tonight. LBV TV. They're usually on between 8.30 and 9 on Tuesday nights. Make sure you check them out. Walt's on at 8. This sanity. 
and excuse me, Jim, more sunshine, please. Is also on. That's a lineup tonight. If you want to have a little off-topic Disney fun, go back and watch Meg's stream from last night where we talked about Lord of the Rings. It's a good time. It's a good time. I went off topic. That's what happens. And D and T tomorrow for sure. One hundred percent. Do not miss it. I said it last night, and I say it again. I'm putting the expectation out there. It is going to be a top five episode. Ever. Karen, thank you. LBB TV is on tonight with villains. 9 p.m. LBB TV. Dana Marie, welcome in. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Man, this salad went quickly. So while we're talking Brown Derby, the sliders there are absolutely killer. The Kobe beef sliders. So good. So, so good. Um, has, oh, what's the aioli? Damn, I forget. Sure, P pops in. I heard Dave is wearing Steve's shirt. I don't, I don't know what that means. I'm wearing my shirt with martini glasses. Yup. All right. So, it's forty of you here watching me. It's October, which means Halloween is right around the corner, which means it's pumpkin spice season. Hold on. I got to clean this so Brandy doesn't yell at me. Hold on. Hold, please. Winston, what are you barking at? My dog. Donna. Just popping in to say hello. Show my love and support from Wolfgang Pucks at Disney Springs. That's awesome. Have not been to Wolfgang Pucks. Definitely need to do that for sure. I think I saw Steve in that shirt the other night. Really? Steve has this shirt? Really? That's interesting. Dave, is that an Easter egg about tomorrow night? Is what an Easter egg about tomorrow night, Andrew? I don't know anything. We don't decide until last minute. I'm just saying tomorrow's going to be don't miss, can't miss. Excited about that. Mike Wheeler, what's up, my guy? Hope you're well. Hope you're all well. Really, Robin? Man, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, what else? What else can we talk about? Brandy's not here to just randomly talk about stuff. So, or interrupt me. But there's 47 of you here hanging out. This is actually, if anyone cares, it's a little uh, little Basil Hayden's on the rocks. May or may not be a little sacrilege, but uh, wasn't uh, wasn't in the mood to drink it. Neat. Currently. Not really. Steve wears Panama Jack shirts all of a sudden. That's hilarious. <laughs> all right. Tomorrow should be something Modern Warfare style. Yeah, Dana. Uh, it's not. But adult apple juice says Dana. Hey, hey, Doss. Yes. Can you help Winston out and get whatever he wants? He wants something underneath the couch. I'm assuming it's a bone. Yep, it is. Okay. Can you get it? Thank you. Thanks, Winston. I'm glad you needed that specific bone. You have five of those over yeah. there. Of course. Funny if Steve came in and said, hey, that's my shirt. <laughs> so true. But 
it is pumpkin spice season. I don't know. I'm not. Okay. I'm not a huge pumpkin spice fan, like a lot of folks are. Especially when it comes to beer, you should not have pumpkin beer, ever. Ever. Mm, Orlando Magical Dining. STK. Haven't done STK, Karen. Have not. One, two. Haven't. Haven't. What are you playing, Dawson? He's just yelling. It's crazy. All right. I'm waiting on Brandy. Mike will be right back. All right. So, let's see. I'm trying to think here. What else is going on? News-wise. Hmm. We're not addressing the minivan thing. We're just not. We're still uh, We're still not happy. Kind of sad that they're gone. Hopefully they will come back after uh, everything gets cleared up. But, uh, yeah. Super, super sad news when it comes to that. Sounds like the peeps are home. Not soon enough. Thank you. Because we're running out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> what? Why? Why was I running out of stuff to talk about? Because I ate a whole salad like... and talked about it the entire time. <laughs> and, um, Sorry, everyone. I need to go pick up sis. One shot, baby. Yeah. Dawson says one shot, baby. One shot, baby. So right. what'd you talk about? Do you about? want salad? I ate the salad. I got a chicken bone in the first bite. And Dana pointed out. Says, hey, it's super good. And then he goes and spits something in the garbage can. <laughs> And I missed it. Which is pretty hilarious. I missed it. Yeah. That's so that's funny. Good. Oh Which my one? goodness. Don't worry about it. Just eat it. So what's it? Pineapple some? cider. Yeah. Oh. Just no tomatoes. Andrew it's said, have you ever me. had Ace pineapple cider? That sounds really good. This is your mother's anyways. Okay. Pineapple cider? Like pineapple hard cider? I don't know. Maybe. It says Ace pineapple cider. Oh yeah. That's definitely hard cider. I love pineapple. Baby, this is for you. They're saying hi. Lot. Make it blue. Caitlin's saying hi, Gigi. Hi. Uh, too much garlic in this beef. Really? You didn't even really do like too poor. Oh, wait. Okay. I don't like it. Winston, do you want this or not? Honey, I don't want, you, I don't want you your bone you want this or not? in my salad. Do you want this or not? <laughs> yeah, I do, but I... I hi, Karen. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Andrew. I'm going to let Brandy take over there. Okay. Um... Did you guys, I don't know if you could see Winston, but he had his bone out of his mouth like he was trying to put it in my salad bowl. I do not want him. I do not want that. Now listen, okay. just eat it. Yeah. Just eat it. Open. You want that dressing? A little bit, please. Just try Ooh, it. Ooh, an avocado. There's avocado in here. Here, sis. You want me to put, here, bring just your, a little bit. Give me a little bowl. Yeah, I can't reach. Oh, he, she just wanted to try it, so... Do you say chocolate? You have chocolate pancakes. Well, I did make. Go ahead. It's okay. If you need more, you can have it. Chocolate pancakes. I made those. I made those before you got home, honey. Hi, Marjorie. Excuse me. Winston is curious. <laughs> he is just. He just had that bone out of his mouth. It was pretty funny. He knows. He's all about the food. So good. Honey, it looks so beautiful what it left and the bacon in the middle that was so pretty and looked so good. Yep, yep. I'm pretty good at stuff. It's always weird to eat on camera for me. Yeah. So I'm like, I just shoved the whole thing in my mouth. I was like, this is good. And you ate the whole time? I ate the whole thing. Mmm. Honey, that is really good. Is it? Mm-hmm. Glad you like it. Mm. It's pretty garlicky though. Do you agree? Or like I said, I'm it's a little garlicky. Well, I, no, I think it's uh, perfect. I, I feel that garlic should be an accent, not the star. And it feels like it's a star. But I can feel I can feel the other flavors. Star. Superstar. Superstar. Sometimes when I get nervous, <laughs> I put my fingers under my Superstar. armpits and I smell it good. I can't even I haven't thought about that movie. <laughs> In like 20 years. In 20 years. <laughs> Oh, it's called Superstar. There was Superstar. on Saturday Night Live. There was a skit called Mary Catherine Gallagher. Superstar. And she. <laughs> we'll have to pull up clips for you because oh, yeah. 
Gene, it is it is so funny. 20 years on 20 years. Oh my gosh, guys. Is it true the Brown Derby has a hidden menu? Anyone know? Andrew, I don't know. Ooh. There mm. is there is a little special Club 33 all spot of the, there. Uh, all of the 40-somethings are mm -hmm. chiming in. Mm. This is so good. Dave doing live Animal Crossing. No. <laughs> I don't even know. I haven't played Animal Crossing. I have no clue. I don't even know what it is. It's a game on Nintendo. Oh. Nintendo. <laughs> what is Zip saying that Nintendo? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, good job, thumbs look, down, look guys. So proud of you. You'll have to look it up. Dana, have you not seen the movie? He has very no. Of course, you probably no, haven't. It's he, older than you. It is. I was just gonna say yeah. he's not even old enough to have been around when that was on Saturday Night Live. It's true. Mm -hmm. it's true. Dave, you're the best. This is so good. I'm sorry. I love it, but Brown Derby is definitely one of my favorites. Did you talk about the sliders? I did, barely. I bet you make those sometime. What else do we get, too? Well, we've gotten shrimp and grits there before, which is pretty decent. There's something else, right? There's like an appetizer. Well, we've gotten the... Uh... There's a spoon in here. Oh. We've gotten the... Um... <laughs> Shrimp and grits, we've gotten the charcuterie board. Oh, that was really loud. Sorry, I don't really even make. I found the picture of it today. What's that? The uh, the scallops with the weird frite that's on it, the Parmesan frite with that sauce. Mm. Oh, yeah, we got to find that recipe. Yeah. It's banging good. Mm -hmm. it's bang, you had it, Gianna. You ate half of it. Did you hear the Concrete Beach Brewing is closing? I don't even know what Concrete Beach Brewing is. Nah, bro. Okay, cool. Dave for Tom, no. what's that? I don't know what that is. Andrew, elaborate. Dad builds. You, it's okay. What up? Dad builds. Are you doing man? Dave doing Superstar from Mary Catherine Gallagher, if you have ever seen <laughs> that. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Back it up because it's so funny. <laughs> Mike Wheeler puts fingers underneath armpit, pulls out real quick and sniffs. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> oh, Dana Marie says grapefruit cake, which have we had it? No. I don't think we've had the grapefruit cake there. Why not? I don't know. I don't like grapefruit. Probably one reason. I do. Mm -hmm. We should try that sometime. We should. Winston is thirsty. He's really like. Why I? Mm hmm. What's wrong? Triple P says they make several Disney exclusive beers, including oh. something I don't know. Tungaloosh. Oh. Tungaloosh. That's his favorite beer. I don't know. Oh. Grapefruit. Hi, Trippy. Grapefruit cake sounds really good. I really like grapefruit, especially when it's paired with like I'm, the sweetness. I'm sure it's delicious. Like I love grapefruit candy, like those little gummy like things. Yeah. For real. No, like the little You're a gummy sweet dog. and sour. What's he going for back there? I don't, know. I don't know. They're like Sour Patch. He just wants everything oh, that no, he no. shouldn't have. No. Was it Sour Patch? Dog kind of, but it's grapefruit. So good. Marguerite Nagy dislikes. Marguerite. Grape. Dislikes. 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 Apple yeah. juice for adults only. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's the good kind of grapefruit. Yeah. Karen Cook, she says she doesn't juice. like grapefruit, I don't like grapefruit. I like the cake. but I like the cake and the beer. I want to try the grapefruit cake. Grapefruit beer. Hmm. That's in um Germany. I was the Schaffer Hopper. I was oh, at Belgium, oh, just like don't get me started. Just like Zip, Belgium, yeah. the new country, Belgium, <laughs> Belgianistan. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, good. the grapefruit beer is overpriced and overrated. Yeah. It's a two and a half percent shandy, and there's but ten times better things there than yeah. grapefruit beer. But you know what? Two and a half percent—that's that's okay. It's like it's good for like. It's like nothing. You're paying well, eight and a half dollars. But it's a good flavor. Juice. But it's a good flavor. Like I like it. I don't mind it if it doesn't have a lot of percentage in it. But no, I'm not, like, no but what I'm person. saying is that you can get other drinks for eight fifty that are better. And I'm not even saying alcoholic. That you're paying eight fifty. I it's just me. You can buy a six pack for eight fifty anywhere else. Well, you always buy it for me anyway. And don't I complain. do. You're right because I love you. 
Mm, grapefruit beer, way too fruity for me. You know, it's not going to be good when my mother, who doesn't drink beer, likes it. Well, it's a shandy, technically. A Rattler, if you will, which is 50% grapefruit aid. Lemonade. But I it's like grapefruit, grapefruit aid. I do like grapefruit a lot. I could go for it. And then it's their, uh, uh, it's their Hefeweizen, which mm. their Hefeweizen's good. It's solid. Uh, just as its own. The Dunkel in Germany is where it's at, though. About it, about it. It what is about so at the Brown Derby? Do they have a special beer? You know, I, I think it's the standard beer menu. They've had over the years, like, all of a sudden they have like 740 really good beers, and then it's down to the standard beer menu. And then it's like, oh, we're going to expand it again. So I honestly think it's whoever's in charge of liquor for that section of the, um, of the park. Hmm. So it's that. It's going to be Club 33. Um, and it's going to be, man, I'd love to go there. Something else there. That would be at, at the Brown Derby. Cause it would be like my favorite place. Plus. Yeah. Trip pieces blame ba baseline. Yeah. It's all baseline's fault. It is true. Baseline has a lot of fun 100%. things. Well, they do, but they haven't changed their beer. It's supposed to be rotating taps of California beer and they haven't done it yet. It's, it's the well, same beer, which is fun. I think they have a reasonable selection there. The half of bites in yeah. there is solid. Baseline's the other great place to go. We've talked about this lounge wise. So many good lounges in Hollywood studios. And you know, Baseline's you a completely to. different different vibe. And then you got um and there's other things to get besides beer. Like there, even the food selection is just good. Well, you can get the alcoholic peanut butter and jelly milkshake over at the Tunin Lounge. Mm -hmm. Like you can get some crazy stuff. Varsteiner Dunkel, yeah, Joey's best bud. It is Yum. so good. Yeah, Cody, yeah, love, uh, love baseline. It's solid. Baseline's cool because you can go in there and you you can get the different beers. You can pay a reasonable amount for a sampler. I think it's like twelve bucks, ten bucks. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not, not crazy bad. for the for the beer sampler, and you get solid, um, solid amounts of it. And they give you little cards. They printed out all these yeah, like, those cool are looking cards mm -hmm. to keep as a as a souvenir for what you tried, which is fantastic. The, the two draft sizes, they're not overpriced for the uh, for, for being in the parks. That's all. And I was just going to say, there are only three or four appetizers, and they do all of them pretty well. Like, there's the the steak puff, right? It's like, it's weird. It's, I don't think it's a ribeye puff. I tried that. it once. I was there without you. Oh. It's oh. not bad. It's you not didn't get great. It with me. No. It's not bad, but it's not great. Someone told me to get it. I tried it. It wasn't bad. But the charcuterie board is like 10 bucks. Even oh, yeah. it's 12 bucks. It is as good a quality as any other charcuterie board on property, pretty much. I mean, somewhere a little bigger. But like, you're getting more for your money at 10 bucks because it's from California and not from wherever California Grill decided to get their charcuterie board. Triple P, that's okay. What's up, I Trip? just think it would be cool. He said that's the smallest 33 lounge. Yeah, well, I'd like I to just, go in one. I just think. Yeah, yeah, really. Just start there. <laughs> but, we can worry about collecting everything later. <laughs> but I don't know. I love going to the Brown Derby, so I think it would be like extra, like just an extra neat little. Karen Cook, wait, there's, a, yeah. there's an alcoholic version of the PB&J PB milkshake. Well, yeah, if you ask for one, they'll probably put whatever yeah. you want in it. Um, That'd be good with, oh, cookie Kahlua, a little chocolatey flavor on the mm -hmm. back end. Oh, that'd be good. I'm not a big hand. milkshake person, though. <laughs> Trippy says not as a bad thing. Data says great value. Yeah, it's uh, it's fantastic. And the pretzel Dawson freaking loves. They're mm -hmm. like eight bucks, and they are super good. They're but they really did good. such a good job right there, minimizing what the food's gonna be and focusing on the beer, but still having enough snacky stuff that you could, like, we've gone there for lunch. We've gotten two pretzels, two charcuterie boards, right? And then we've gone to Brown Derby Lounge for dinner after going to lunch there. So we've it gone works to Brown out. Derby twice in one day. Lounge. That's. That's how much we love it. Yeah. Brown Derby's fantastic. But Zip's on soon. Zip is on soon. So in four minutes, we're all going to go over to see Zip's uh, Zippity Special. Doodad in this. So uh, yeah. could one of the mods grab the link? We'll all head over there. And all we're going to type is Cobb Salad. That's it. Hmm. Don't say anything else. I was going to say, say BD because it's Brandy and Dave and the Brown Derby. Maybe that's why we like it so much. Could be. Mm -hmm. Brown Derby Lounge Martini Flight. Yeah, buddy. Brandy loves it. Brandy loves the dirty martinis there. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the Manhattan. So are we typing Cobb Salad in Zipstream? 
Yes, everyone's typing Cobb salad in Zipstream. Just because. Because we said so. Because it's fun. So it's when he so goes fun. live, everyone head over there. I already mentioned everyone else is on. LBB's on at 9, by the way, officially. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we got that confirmed. 43 of you here at the end. Thank you all so much for being here. Absolutely love you all. Appreciate you all being here while we prepare dinner on Tuesday nights. That's really what and it it's is. been And it's been fantastic because it's been a little touch of Disney when we haven't been able to go anywhere near there. So... It's been fun for us, too. We're going to continue to do it. Are we skipping next week, or are you going to attempt to do it? Oh, can, I don't know. Can we don't know yet. Later? I am out of town next week on Bidness on Tuesday night. So I don't know. We, we got to talk. So we might not be here next week, but. Maybe you could drop a vlog. I was just going to say that. <gasps> I love how you take my thunder. Well, I don't know that you're going to actually say that. I was just. Well, Dave we started editing stuff again. Woohoo! So July 2019 trip is finally coming out at the end of 2020. So might you drop one this week. If it's not, we'll drop one next Tuesday. New stuff. It is like the old, the old world. For real, it's so, the old world. It's, it's back in the olden days before Corona. Yes. Or as Dawson but, would say, was it in the olden days, Mom? Like the 19s? Like the 19s? The olden days? That's what he says. That's what he says to me. It's crazy. It's I don't crazy. Know how he it is the olden days. Well, we have to realize that in comparison to where we are at with our parents right. and their generation, there is a legit 100% marked divide between the 19s and the 20s. It's not the, oh, it's the 70s and the 80s. That's just a decade. This is 100%. You're changing 100 years. You're changing the prefix, yo. And that, Dana says the 19s were the best. You weren't around in the 19s. <laughs> Bro or bro. <laughs> Dad Bill Let's go. said Shep and Brandy next week. Just saying. <laughs> Could be. Could be. We might make it happen. We gotta figure something out. So um good times. Thank you all for being here. Love you all. 659. In a minute, we're all gonna head over to it's uh it's Zip's uh baby daddy stream. It's Jack's almost here. <gasps> Jack, baby yeah. Jack Jack. Oh yeah. so cute. Sure. Yeah, it was, bro. They weren't. What kind of math do you do? What kind of common core math have you been taught? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I had to, bro. Talk soon. All right. So, so love you all. Thank you so much. For yeah, thank you so much for being here. Sorry I had to run out, but it's just mom life. What, hashtag, what goes on? Hashtag mom life. So make sure the show must go on. when you say hi to Zip, put Cobb salad in there. Say Cobb salad. Head over right now, 7 p.m. Let's go welcome Jack. Yes. Into the Disney community. Because the countdown is on, mm -hmm. and we're excited mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for real. Another dis and that, baby. All right, love you all. Head on over, click the link. It's in the uh, in the chat, and we'll see y'all real soon. Bye. Love you.